I drew out the shape that I wanted. I carved it out and I made two. I'm gonna be covering up the edges with another strip that I cut out from a trifle board also. All I'm doing here is to make sure that the board is flexible enough for me to use for the sides. The next thing that I did was to take the other part and I glued it at the top. And now I'm going to be using my X-Acto knife to carve out the middle part. This is going to be way easier if I had done it before gluing it on. This was just a final minute decision to change the design. Now I'm going to be covering up the edges with tape. After I did that, I covered the whole thing with paint using a brush. I mean, you can use a spray paint, but I just decided to use paint and brush for this one. As I was doing this, I remembered that I did not cover the middle part, so I taped the middle part and I painted the whole thing black also. These are magnifying sheets from the Dollar Tree and that's what I'm going to be using for the middle. You can also use a chopping mat. Now I use these sheets because they're a little bit harder and because of the rough surface to make it easy to glue things on top. I cut them down to the size and then I glued them in using a hot glue gun. I got glass gems from the Dollar Tree and I spray painted them black. I made an error here. I should have spray painted the back instead of the front just to give it a shiny effect. So that was a mistake. But anyhow, I'm just going to glue it on because it's what I have right now and it's still going to work. I glued on the stones at the front and at the back and this is what it looks like. And now for the middle part, I'm going to be using this belt cloches that I got and I will be gluing it onto the magnifying sheets in the middle. After gluing it on, this is what it looks like. I am so in love with this. It's so pretty. Now I kept that aside. And then I used the same dimensions for the first face to make the second one. I just extended the height of both sides and then I made the upper sides thin. At the end of the day, I made curves. I made two of these and then I carved them out. And then I repeated the same thing that I did for the first face. And I'm going to be covering the outer sides with tape and then the inner side, I cut out a strip from a poster board. This is just to keep the inside smooth. And at the bottom, I cut out some lines just to make it more balanced when you place it to sit properly. I took spoons and then these are the parts that I'm going to be using. And then I glued them to make the design for the vase. And I had already spray painted the vase silver. I'm going to be using spoons to decorate the entire upper part of the vase. I cover the edges too. And now for the middle part, I'm going to be covering it up with mirrors. I use different sizes of mirrors to minimize the open spaces. And now to make sure that the vase is well balanced when it's been seated, I'm going to fill it up with stones. Now for the edges in the front, I will be covering it up with diamond wrap. I'm going to be covering up the sides with this mirror duct tape. I 
I added gems in between all of the holes just to make sure that the vase comes out neat. And then I used diamond wrap to cover the edges at the top. The vase is cute on its own, but you can also add flowers if you like. This is such a pretty decor piece and I love the way it turned out. This is what the first one looks like. It's so pretty. And you can put lighting inside. I use string lights inside just to give it more drama, you know. And this is what it looks like at night with the string lights inside. So now you see the whole idea behind using a transparent sheet to reflect the light. So these are both faces together and I really love how both of them turned out. I got this from the dollar store and I'm going to be using eight packs. So I'm separating the bottom from the top and I'm going to be using both of them. And here I have a round board that is 16 inches and then I spray painted the outer perimeters gold and I glued on the 10 inches mirror in the middle. I'm going to be starting with these parts first and I will be gluing them around the mirror. When I was done with that, I separated the pieces from the silver plastic spoons that I'll be needing and I'll be making use of just the base alone. I spray painted it gold and then I'm going to be gluing it down to the design. I glued them all round and somewhere in the middle of the eggs. I'm going to be using my E6000 glue and I'm going to be putting just a little in a container so that I can apply it around the whole design carefully just to make sure that it doesn't show at the end of the day. Now I'm going to be gluing more of these at the tips of all of the spoons. Now that I'm done with that, I will be gluing more somewhere around the middle, but then I will be leaving a space in between each and every one of them. I did that for all of them, but when I got to this point, I added two because of the spacing. I took eight of the other parts of the eggs and I spray painted them gold. And I took these golden beads and I will be gluing them around the whole top but not entirely around the whole thing, just stopping somewhere close to the end. I did not glue the beads all around to the bottom because I needed the space to easily add it on to the other designs. And this is what they all look like. I used gems at the tips of all the spoons to cover up the rough edges. And now I'm going to be gluing on the design that I just made around all the open spaces. When I was done with that, I took some gems and I'm going to be gluing them down around the openings that we have on the design. I glued this hook at the back of the mirror to hang it on the wall. And this is what it looks like. I really love the turn out of this mirror. And it looks like it's got lots of embellishments around. And no one's going to know that it's all filled up with Easter eggs. So if you've got a lot of these at home, instead of throwing them away, you can just turn them into a wall decor. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.